So what does the GPS CS3 allow you to do and how does it work? We're going to give you a quick demonstration on the unit to answer some of these questions. First, you must make sure that the date and time is set correctly in your digital still camera. Or if you're using a Sony digital video camera, make sure the date and time is set in the menu system as well. Once the date and time is set correctly in your camera, then you must go to the GPS unit and make sure that it's set to the proper time zone for where you're shooting. When you are ready to take pictures or shoot video, turn on the GPS unit and make sure to have it near you. The unit will lock on to GPS satellites when they are available. Once it has locked on, it will start recording a GPS log. It will record data every 15 seconds. The unit will also work if you're moving or in a car. The GPS unit can store multiple GPS logs, totaling 360 hours. When you're finished shooting, you will need to match the GPS log to your pictures or your video. This can be done two ways. The first way is to upload your pictures or video to your computer using the supplied software Picture Motion Browser. Then connect the GPS unit via the USB cable to your computer and use the GPS image tracker software to match your GPS logs to your pictures. The second way, which I'll demonstrate, is to insert the memory stick card or the SD card into the back of the GPS unit. So now that I've taken all my pictures, what I need to do is embed the GPS data from the GPS unit to each picture. And how I'm going to do that is in the actual GPS unit. So what I'm going to do is take the memory card out of my camera and I'm going to insert it into the back of the GPS unit. Then I go into the menu of the unit, press the menu button, and I'm going to go down one to matching select matching. What's going to happen now is it's going to go through each one of the pictures and look at what date and time the actual picture was recorded at and then cross-reference it to the GPS log looking for the exact same date and time and then the unit will embed the proper coordinates to each one of those pictures. So I'm going to select start. Right now it's going through all the pictures and embedding the GPS information to each picture. And it's complete. So I want to upload my pictures to Picture Motion Browser software. I'm going to input my memory stick into the front of my laptop and I'm going to get a screen from the software which is this one here. This is an import screen. This allows me to import pictures right into Picture Motion Browser software. So I'm going to select import. It's going to import the pictures that have my GPS tagged So now that we've uploaded our pictures into the software, you can see our pictures right here. These pictures here all have GPS data embedded in the actual file information. This icon of the compass tells me that there's GPS data in each one of these pictures. What I can do to give you that fantastic view using Google Earth is I select one picture and I do a control A to select all the pictures here. And then I click on this icon right here. It's called a map view. I click on map view. What's happening is the software is going through the internet to Google Earth and it's going to Google Earth and pinpointing all the GPS coordinates from each one of these pictures and pinpointing them on this map as you see here. I'm going to scroll up to the very top to the first picture and I'm going to make this full view by the right hand side clicking that maximize button. All right. I can drag and drop the map. I'll center it a little bit better. At the top right hand corner you'll see you have three views, a map view, a satellite view, and a hybrid view. Right now we're in map view. If I click satellite, we'll get a satellite view. And I'm going to zoom in on the left hand side here. Just zoom in. Again, you can drag and drop the map around to make it preferable for you. Alright, so here we are in the port of Miami on top of a cruise ship. You can click on the picture to get a full view of the picture on your screen click off of it. You can click on the red pinpoints throughout the software and it'll bring up the actual picture that was taken at that position or what you can do is click on the picture and just scroll down on these icons here and it'll bring you to where that picture was taken. If I continue clicking, the next shot was here. I can drag and drop it. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Here we go. 
All right, so this picture here was taken us getting off the uh, ship onto a tender boat, tendering onto the mainland. And that's where that shot was taken. You can see a cruise ship sitting here. The next shot is over here at the end of this dock. At the time, there was a bunch of jet skis all lined up really nicely and the cruise ship was dead ahead. That's where that picture was taken. If I scroll down the left-hand side, you're gonna bring, I'll bring you to the other photos. Here's a view of the cruise ship from the side. I'll continue on the left-hand side, just scrolling down. And here we are at another port. This is Jamaica. And if I continue going through, this is Duns Rivers Falls. When you get to climb up the actual waterfalls, very exciting. I continue on through them. And there's some pinpoints in the middle of the water. You'd be wondering what we're doing there. Oh yes, of course, we're parasailing. So very interesting. It's important to have the GPS unit around you or close to you when you're using it. For example, if this GPS unit was left at the beach or at the hotel, then this pinpoint of us parasailing will actually be over here on the beach and not in the proper area which it was, which was on the boat at the time we were parasailing. So continuing on, what we have here is downtown Toronto. These are two pictures taken down by the Rogers Centre and by the CN Tower. What you'll notice is there's great detail in city centres. This would be the same for any major city across the country or across the world. On the right hand side, the top, you'll see there's a hybrid view. If I click hybrid view, it gives you street names. So here you can see all the street names. This comes in very handy for if you're traveling across the world or in different cities where you're not really familiar with the area and you remember, oh, you know, there was a fantastic restaurant here and I can't remember the street name. Well, this gives you a great idea as to the actual street names, where you were and where you've traveled. So that's the hybrid view. I'll go back to satellite and I'll show you the fantastic detail as I mentioned. As I scroll in, I can scroll in great detail into the actual city center. And that concludes the GPS demo. This is the Sony GPS CS3KA. Thank you.